a feel to the air outside that is a lot more January like than the weather we've had of late. We are one whole degree holding on to above zero readings, but it feels like it's 13 below thanks to the wind. That wind chill, wind blowing by your skin, that warmth from your skin gets carried away, so it makes it feel colder than it is. Helps if you cover everything up. Four below Langdon, three below in Grand Forks this hour with one below in Thief River Falls. It's chilly there. We're holding on to above zero readings down to the south. Five in Gwinter. Take a look at today. As we started out today, 19 in Fargo. It was warm for the morning hours. Frisco, 33, just as a hint for anyone traveling south that, yes, it can get a little on the chilly side. But as we went through the day, whoop, down went our temperatures here in Frisco, went the other direction, enjoying 50s at this hour right now. Quiet weather between here and Frisco right now. We do have a little bit of snow from the Black Hills of South Dakota into the Rockies of Alberta, Canada. And this snow that is out to the west is going to work its way in and impact our day tomorrow. So it's a one-two punch. Punch one is ugh, cold air. Wind chill advisory through midday tomorrow with wind chills that will approach 40 below zero. Here's your hour by hour forecast. We're going to update you on what you can expect first and foremost this evening. Clear skies, a cold blob of Arctic air is going to start slowly working its way down into the valley as we go to the evening. Temperatures will already be around 10 below for some of us to head to bed tonight. And then we're on our way to 10 to 20 below zero for actual air temperatures from the Red River Valley and points east because the clouds will blanket in some warmth. You will not, you'll be sub zero in Jamestown, but closer to five below for a morning temperature as opposed to the 15 below for your neighbors to the east. Factor in those winds and when your kids are heading out to the bus stop or you are heading off to work or to drop them off, it's going to be mighty chilly. Wind chills between 25 and isolated locations of 40 below because we're going to have a wind shift overnight. It's going to become more southeasterly instead of northerly. Hey, that air that's warmer is coming back at us. Notice temperatures that will be a, a rising, but it will still be wind chilly. Check this out. Winds gusting out of the southeast will top 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Temperatures will rise up there, but oh, it comes with growing pains. We're going to get a shot of snow making its way through. Now, along and south of I-94, not a big deal other than a, a isolated slippery spot here or there. We will all experience gusty winds and brutal wind chills all afternoon and into the evening. For your evening commute, along Highway 200 and points north. There will be accumulating snow. With temperatures like this, Hutch says watch up in the sky. Those flakes are going to be light, fluffy, and they are going to really blow around. So uh, there could be some areas as we go into your Wednesday night and into Thursday morning where we get significantly reduced visibilities as well with blowing and drifting snow. And, well, more on snowfall amounts by Thursday morning. But for Fargo, on your day tomorrow, it's going to be brutal in the morning. Temperatures near 15 below. We'll see temperatures rising nicely throughout the day, but it's going to be brutal as wind increases, clouds increase. We'll have a chance at some late day flakes here in Fargo, but I think mainly a trace to maybe a tenth of an inch the way it looks for us with more to the west and more to the north. Now your hometown forecast on your way home from school tomorrow, single digit readings, but at least above zero for the vast majority of us in our afternoon. Now by Thursday, by the time we get to morning, we're talking three to six inches for our Northern Valley viewers from Highway 200 north to the international border. Best chance at that, that six plus is going to be along the international border. Oh, a snow doodle. Thank you so much for sharing. Them. Somebody having fun with all this flaky weather around here. Okay, tomorrow morning cold and then we warm up Thursday. The next Arctic slap arrives Saturday morning as we cheer on the bison and the Minnesota football Vikings. Whoa. Then Tuesday morning, the coldest of the coldest trio of Arctic air masses arrives. Does that so, mean you're going to be cheering on the Vikings? I am cheering on the oh. Vikings, yes. Forever and ever? <laughs> I, I am cheering Just on forever day. on Saturday. Just that yes. day, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>